Hey guys, thanks for watching. Today's video is going to be my October favorites. I know I missed September. I'm kind of bad with favorites sometimes. Seems like the month flies by before I even realize what's happening. I feel like I'm in a state of constant shock as to how fast time is truly going. Like, it, where did the summer go? What do you mean it's almost Christmas? Anyway, so I have compiled a little list of my favorite beauty products for the month of October. Honestly, most of the products that I've been loving for the last couple months also happened to be a lot of the products that I picked up in my fall makeup haul, which was the last video that I posted. So to avoid just repeating myself, I thought I would include some products that I didn't pick up in the haul, but have still been loving and using a ton throughout this past month. I have a couple of skincare favorites this month, but most of them were makeup products. They're very fall. Like, I tried not to be a cliche, but I just love fall makeup so much. I mean, I'm so fall right now. It's physically painful. Where's my pumpkin spice latte? Where is it? So the first product that I definitely wanted to mention is the Quo Cognac Sponge. The Cognac Sponge is a skincare tool that is very popular in Japan, which I believe is where it originated. Basically, this is a sponge that comes from a natural vegetable root, I believe, and it's used for a very gentle yet effective exfoliation of your face. So the one that I had picked up was from Shoppers Drug Mart, and it's the Quo brand, and this particular one has pink clay in it. Of course, I realized after I bought it that this one was limited and I can't find it anywhere again, but pretty much the exact same thing as a regular cognac sponge, it just has a little bit of pink clay in it. Typically when you take it out of the package for the first time it is pre-moistened, um, but when you let it air dry it turns into this like nasty rice cake type deal. This sponge, I don't even know where to begin describing my love for this. This is by far the best, most effective, yet completely gentle exfoliator I've ever used. So I like to use it by rinsing it under water until it really puffs up. Then I put some of my cleanser right onto the sponge and I wash my face like that. It removes every little bit of makeup that I've got and it is so gentle that it doesn't ever feel abrasive or harsh on the skin. So you don't even really feel like you're exfoliating until afterwards when you feel your face and you're just like, Oh my god. It's also amazing because this little sponge cost, I think, $5? What? If you are dry or sensitive or have very, very reactive skin, I highly recommend using this for your exfoliator. The next product is technically a skincare product, but it's a hand cream. So at work, I was restocking some shelves and I noticed this bad boy and I was like, what are you? So this is the Skin Fix Ultra Rich Hand Cream. This can be found at most drugstores. I believe it is a new product. It is natural, fragrance-free. It's also free of soy, gluten, parabens, and phthalates. So if you've been following me for a while or you know me in person, then you would know that I suffer from very severe eczema. I get eczema all over my hands. I get it on my cheeks. I get it on my inner elbows. But my hands are typically the worst, especially because I am washing them so frequently. So whenever I see a hand cream that is, first of all, fragrance-free, and second of all, for very like dry or cracked skin, I am instantly intrigued. This is life-changing. It is a very thick texture, but if you have eczema or extremely dry skin, then you know sometimes thicker is better because you really need that protective hydrating barrier on your skin. So at the store that I work in, we have a skincare tool that is a moisture checker, so it basically measures the hydration level of your skin. So before I purchased this hand cream, I actually tested a patch of my eczema to see what the hydration level was. It read as a 13. Now, let me put it this way. A healthy hydration balance is between anywhere from 37 to 42. So 13. So after using the hand cream for two days, I went back and tested the exact same patch again and it then read as a 18. So it actually boosted my hydration level in my hands by like five in just two days. I've been using it pretty much religiously for the last week to two weeks and oh my gosh my eczema is already going away it's less red it's less itchy it's less dry it does not make me itchy it doesn't burn it's not uncomfortable it's instant soothing hydration for the skin the only downside to this is that it is a bit pricey i believe this retails for like 17 or 18 dollars canadian which is kind of pricey for like a drugstore hand cream but honestly for the quality of this product 100 percent worth it 
Now on to makeup. The first makeup product that I have been using religiously throughout the past like two months or so is the NYX Dark Circle Corrector. This comes in a little jar and I believe it's available in four shades. They all have a little bit of a tint to it. This particular shade is shade three and even though I am very fair, um, my dark circles are so bad that the stronger peach tint to this really helps camouflage them. This is not a concealer, it's a corrector, meaning it works best underneath of your concealer. Or if you get a shade that's lighter and closer to your actual skin tone, you can wear it on its own for like a no makeup day type thing. A very thin, smooth, and creamy texture, so it also works as a really good base for your concealer. This is infused with, I believe, coconut oil, so it really helps smooth any fine lines and dehydration that you have under the eyes. This is somewhat sheer coverage because it's not meant to completely conceal, it's just meant to correct or cancel out the dark pigment under the eyes. It has done an amazing job of helping to camouflage my dark circles, but also brighten my eye area. And of course it's NYX, so it's very inexpensive. So I apply a tiny bit of this with my finger right under the eyes. I lightly press it in and then I go over top with my concealer. If you have severely dark circles or dry skin, this product is phenomenal. The next product is an actual concealer. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer, and this is in the shade 1W Light. I think I've mentioned this in a blog post favorites like months and months ago, and then for a while I kind of stopped using it and it sat in my drawer. Recently I have rediscovered my love for this product. So it is a long-wearing, full coverage, very thick concealer. This is incredible for imperfections such as blemishes, scars, can even use it for tattoos. Not however really recommend it for under the eyes because it's so thick and long lasting that it can look a little drying in this area. Really? If you have acne, scars, blemishes, hyperpigmentation however, is bomb. So the texture can be a little stiff initially, that's why usually a brush or Honestly, your fingers work best because the warmth of your fingers will warm up the product, making it a little easier to work with. So I like to use this underneath my foundation on the areas where I have the most acne scarring. I will take a small amount with my finger and blend it in to my pitted acne scars. And because it's such a thick texture, it helps kind of fill in the scar and smooth it out so that when you do follow with your foundation, it has a smoother surface to apply to. Also great for pigmentation and acne scars because it has SPF 35. Skin prone to hyperpigmentation or scarring or suffering from acne is very photosensitive, and if you do go into the sun without protection, that pigmentation will become worse. Very important to use SPF, and granted this isn't going all over the face, but especially on those spots that are already kind of damaged, it's a huge help. The next product is a foundation that is also by Estee Lauder, and this is the brand new Double Wear To Go foundation. I was very, very skeptical about this, just because I was like, oh great, another cushion foundation? Like, seriously? But it's actually not technically a cushion foundation. So it opens up, just like that, and this little button here, when you push it, it pumps the product through. So you're not dipping a brush in a sponge saturated in foundation, it's straight foundation in there. Another reason that I was very skeptical is because I typically do not like the Double Wear foundation. It is a fantastic product for oilier skins. If you are dry or have a lot of texture or dry patches, it will not work the best for you. But I did receive this as a gratis product from my work, so I was like, you know what, fine, I'll try it. I am so glad that I did. So this new Double Wear To Go is a much different formula than the original Double Wear or the Double Wear Light. This is still a medium coverage, it is buildable, but it has a luminous finish and it is better for dry skin. This is actually a very beautiful product for dry skin types or those looking for a more luminous finish. It covers pretty much everything I need it to, smooths out my skin, and gives a really nice kind of glowy look. I am so pleasantly surprised and very very impressed that they changed the texture of this. Finally a double wear for drier skins. Thank you Essay Lauder. It is for sure long wearing. Usually I can get about eight hours at least of wear for this before it starts to fade or kind of look a tiny bit patchy. I do not recommend using this with the sponge it comes with. Honestly, it's probably gonna make it look like crap if you do that. I personally like to pump out the product, um, dab it onto my skin with my fingers, and then blend it out with a brush, 
or if you're dry and textured like I am, a beauty blender or a Real Techniques sponge. The next products that I have are eyeshadows and these are actually from H&M. I heard that H&M was launching a makeup line. I was like, really? And a friend of mine had gone in and she was like, yo, you need to look at these products. I was like, okay, sure. So I went in, saw this gigantic display of pretty much every eyeshadow color you could ever want and I was just like, oh. And then I swatched them and I was like, oh. They retail for about $7.99 Canadian, which is super cheap. They are very pigmented, very smooth, very blendable. They're almost, they almost feel like a sort of powder cream hybrid, even though they are a powder shadow. The packaging is super cute. It comes in a chic sort of black and white box. There's an eye on it with gold writing. And then the actual eyeshadow comes in a white and gold container. I spent about half an hour trying to decide what colors to get. And honestly, I probably looked like a psychopath because I was standing at the display just like, uh, what? I'm not kidding. There was a girl standing next to me and I was audibly gasping and she would be like, and I just turned to her. I was like, I was not expecting this. So of course, because I'm a makeup addict, I bought three shades and I will be going back for more. The first shade that I picked up is called Sun Worship. This is a, it's a very metallic, sort of like a deeper, bronzy antique gold. It's stunning, like. The next shade that I picked up, I'm gonna butcher this name probably, is called Bachi de Dama. It's more of a paler, warmer, sort of like a bronze. The third shade and my personal favorite that I am wearing on my eyelids today is called Chin Chin. It is a stunning, pale, metallic, kind of sparkly champagne. Reminds me a tiny bit of Kitten by Stila. I live for this color. Like if you only buy one color, this one. But this shade is more sparkly than the other two, but it applies so smooth and so beautifully. And I mean, they're $7.99. Like that's a drugstore price. I'm shocked. I'm honestly in shock at how beautiful these eyeshadows are. I do definitely find they apply best with the fingers just because that gives you the most pigmentation or with a very flat brush. H&M over here just slaying the eyeshadow game. Formula of these are incredible. They are very long wearing, very pigmented, very smooth, very blendable. I just can't get over how incredible these are. The next product is a liquid lipstick and this is the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lolita. I know everyone and their dog has this color and I did mention it in my fall makeup haul video, but I'm obsessed with this shade and I never thought that I would be able to pull it off usually because such kind of warm shades like this tend to make me look like a zombie. It's not nearly as brown tone as it looked when I swatched it on my hand. I love the formula of these. I think they're very long wearing, very pigmented and very easy to work with. So I am wearing it on my lips today and to line I used the NYX retractable lip liner in the shade Nude. The next product is also more liquid lipsticks. I've been on a little liquid lipstick kick recently. I don't know why. This is the Stila Holiday Liquid Lipstick Set. This is called Eternal Love Liquid Lipstick and this set I believe was exclusive to Shoppers and Murel, at least here in Canada. I'm not too sure what the deal is in the US. So this set is 29. The shades that come in here, um, two of them are brand new, limited edition and exclusive to this set. Hachi and Rico. The middle shade called Beso is a permanent liquid lipstick. I'm obsessed with Bachi. It is sort of like a paler version of Patina, which everyone flips their shit over. I'm really hoping that Stila will make these two colors permanent because they really need colors like this in their range. So Bachi is a beautiful sort of pale, kind of grayish undertone mauve pink. Um, it does turn more pink on the lips. On me, it turns a little bit deeper, but it's still a lighter alternative to Patina. So is a beautiful, true bright red. And then Rico is a darker kind of mauve cranberry, perfect for a ampy lip. If you can get your hands on this little set before it sells out, I highly recommend doing so because it is flying off the shelves. The last product that I definitely wanted to mention is a brush. This is the buffing foundation brush from the Tarte Holiday Brush Set. I do have a review for that brush set up on my blog, which I will link below. 
dense, super soft brush. It's very similar to the one that they carry permanently and the whole set I think was like 43 or $50, so an amazing deal. I was a little skeptical about this brush at first just because I'd never really used anything like this for foundation or powder application, but I'm in love. This is such a versatile brush to have in your collection. It applies foundation very quickly, very, very easy to blend with. I personally like it a little better for powder. So with me, I don't like to set my entire face, but I do like to set this area here. I find if my foundation is too wet and I try to go in with blush, it's just not the best situation. So I like to use this with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural Powder. I lightly dip it in and then just press it to set this area here before I go in with my blush. It does the job super quick, super easy, pretty much does all the work for you. So because it's large, if you're using it for foundation, powder, whatever, you can cover a large surface area in a short amount of time, which is awesome if you're lazy like I am. The whole Stroke of Midnight brush set was beautiful, but this is definitely my favorite out of all. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.